Okay, great. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. So, I mean, nine seasons in, what has it been like for you to watch the fan base for this show continuously grow? It's insane to watch. Yeah, it's it's, awesome. it's, I, I'd say it's the most rewarding part of it. You know, anytime you're part of a show that people like, it's it's a blessing. And then to see it continue with, with the momentum and, and expand and be so well received in the States and, and abroad, it's... um. Yeah, I think that's probably the one of the coolest parts of being a part of Letter Kenny is is seeing how well it's been received. It's been great doing the live shows too because we've met people from all walks of life that like it. So that was really fun to see too. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, I mean, I have to ask with all the great wordplay that's on the show. I mean, in your opinion, which actor or actress has the best or deepest vocabulary of the entire cast? Oh, <laughs> probably is it Kiso? Maybe I, I think Kiso gets some of the the most articulate word play. I think Kiso really Dan probably butchers the English language the most in the most beautiful way. <laughs> yeah. Um, Oh, I, no, that's not true. Uh, uh, Stuart. <laughs> the words that come out of Stuart's mouth are most of yeah. them I've not been made they're, aware they're of until five I syllables see them. at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you guys have such amazing chemistry as a cast. I mean, can you talk about what it's like working together and, like, you know, is any of the comedy ad lib or is everything kind of like how it is uh, on the script pages? Mark? Um, I usually, I mean, my stuff is usually a pretty long monologue of, of twisted words and um, really well written. So I try not to mess with that too much, but I will always bring one thing in that I try to get these boys to laugh at or try to throw a, a left turn to Jared and and there's nothing better than Jared going, yep, that's, that's in. We're using that. So that's always fun to me. Like knock, knock, who's there? Big old boner in my underwear. Um, <laughs> I thought was the silliest thing to say. And, uh, and to watch Jared's face when I delivered it was, was it's breaking him is my, is my, this is the highest joy. It's like goals, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, I mean, for each of you, what do you, you know, personally take away from your characters? Is there anything that you were surprised to learn about yourself as as actors as you continue to, like, develop this? Uh, I had a speech impediment when I was a kid. So sometimes when I'm watching Letterkenny, I'm pretty shocked that I can articulate the words that come out of Riley's mouth. That's been a, a long journey. Um from uh, putting two wine corks in my mouth and articulating my words, I was a bad mumbler. <laughs> to uh, to the stuff you see on screen now. Um, so that wait to fix it, they make it more difficult. Yeah, the, the, you're supposed to put wow. like a like a wine cork, or this is clean. This is my only. No one else has touched this pen for the viewers <laughs> at home. I don't know if you talk. I guess you really have to work on your lips, and that ah. makes your that makes your lips and your tongue articulate the full word as opposed to just being lazy and having it fall out of your mouth. So the more, you know, <laughs> I'm taking that away from this day. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, I think for me, it was, uh, I think I had like a really solid, I, I had, a, I had an idea of who Jonesy was and I feel like it's changed definitely over Like, yeah, I thought he was just, and he, I thought Riley, I should say Riley and Jonesy, but I'm speaking just for Jonesy. But um, I, I thought I had a clear idea of who he was at the start and just like the way, luckily, because the writing's so good. Um, I feel like he, he's changed. I, I've heard this before from people. It's like uh, Riley and Jonesy, they aren't just like a caricature of like hockey players, even though they are in a way, but they also have a heart and they have soft, tender moments. And um, they are they do have moments of, of, of genius at times. So like, I feel like that those things, like how he's, how it's progressed over the years has been uh, fun and enjoyable. And I didn't necessarily see it coming the way it has played out, including when we learn things like about Judaism. You know? <laughs> yeah. 
We're getting clever. <laughs> yeah, we're getting clever. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> so with, you know, plans for, for season 10 and 11, I'm sure, are in the works, where would you like to, to see things go? I mean, um, obviously, I'm sure there's been a bit of delay with, with COVID and everything like that. So what are, what are the plans mm-hmm. right now? Um. <laughs> Yeah, we, we we want to get back to film. I mean, we're, I, I don't think it's a secret that we're we're planning to shoot uh, two two more blocks of of, of Letterkenny um, uh-huh. that 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 we've been made aware of. Uh, I think I speak on behalf of the whole cast and crew when I say that it's a show we all really love doing and would want to do for as long as as they let us make it. It, it it's it's quick to shoot compared to, to other shows. We're out in Sudbury for usually two months a season. Um, we all get along really well. We get to hang out and, and have a lot of fun during the filming process. And then obviously the show's done so well that we get to enjoy the, the, the fruits of our labor when it's all put together. But as, as far as our personal characters, arches, uh, I think we're, we're, we're in a transition phase right now. We're, we're into the beer league hockey world. And, you know, every time a door closes, a window opens and it seems like Riley and Jonesy seem to jump through that window without looking. And it's always pretty funny. So I'm, I'm excited to see the shenanigans and, and the next sort of goals we set for ourselves and, and how coach guides us along that path of well, we, uncertainty. We were talking about a previous interview, but like, well, Mark brought up that he, you know, he really hung up on Barb and he still has pain and love for her and him maybe getting back in the single market and trying to meet a new girl. And I, I, I don't know what Jared has in store for us, but I think it'd be fun to uh, maybe reverse the order where, Riley and Jonesy are helping coach find a new girl. Um, I think that could be something fun to play with, but <laughs> I mean, uh, we, I, we always, I mean, I trust the shit of Jared and what he put down, puts down on paper. So whatever it will be, I know it'll be fun. Okay. I'm not pulling out that I love that idea. <laughs> <laughs> we'll text you. So, Hey, buddy. Yeah. We got a, story yeah, we gotta get a story line for like, you. Okay. Thanks. Buddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> put that in the idea pile. Right. <laughs> so, you know, to, to wrap it up with you guys, what is like the one thing that you hope that, that fans will, will take away from the series and even people that are still discovering the series. Um, I like how inclusive it is, um, cause on the surface, small town show, you could, you could, um, uh, worry that it wasn't. And I, I've always loved that this show includes everyone. And, um, that's a, that's a, a big thing for me on this. I like that a lot. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I don't think, you know, to, to echo what, what Andrew said before, there's no bullies in Letterkenny. There's there's banter and there's conflict between between groups, but there's no outright meanness. And I think there's a lot of love there. And I think there's a lot of inclusivity and, and, and interconnectivity. I mean, one of my favorite episodes is when the the Hicks are trying to figure out how to how to beat up the Dgens who have made fun of the gays and they're trying to figure out how <laughs> yeah. how to set a trap where the dgens could come in on the pretenses of committing a hate crime and then beat the shit out of them for being homophobic and they get in this conundrum where they're trying to do the right thing and beat up people for being homophobic without performing a hate and it's like one of the funniest episodes i think of letter Kenny, and, and it really touches on the heartbeat of the show where it's it's like mark said it's so inclusive there's so much love there but there's also a lot of ass kicking, which is a ton of fun to be a part of. It's it's a really it's a really smart show for how many fart jokes are. It's very very smart. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Uh huh. <laughs>